I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. And now, here's the veteran voice of the legal fix, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Lone Star State in Montgomery County, Texas, for a brand new episode of The Legal Fix, a new age radio show presented by the Tough Law Firm, the toughest law firm in town, with the toughest lawyers around, answering your toughest legal questions. Introducing first, hosting out of the red corner, the big deal, Bruce Wilson! Tough! Joined by Boy Wonder, Brandon Scott Riley, and Super Lawyer, G.I. Jerome, the Golden Boy, Jeremy Lee Hall! Hey, thank you, Bruce Buffer. I'm the big deal Bruce Tough here with Boy Wonder, Brandon Riley, and Super Lawyer, G.I. Jerome, the Golden Boy, Jeremy Hall. Call our hotline at 936 900 2381. Today, we're discussing how to manage your money with Paul J. Carroll, founder and CEO of Avion Wealth. Welcome, Paul. Welcome. Great Avion to see you. Avion. Avion. Avion Wealth. <laughs> Avion. Okay, I said that on purpose. Wait till you get the hot seat questions. We're going to really butcher that, okay? You'll be able to correct, you're going to be able to correct Isn't us Avion all the Avion like a... Uh, Avion. It's, it's like Avion. a direct sale makeup product company? Yeah, yeah it's Avon. It's oh, Avon. Avon. Avon, yes. Avon. Okay. So Avion is a tequila. Avion. Okay. Avion. 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 So in the second Wait, so segment, we're going to put Paul Carroll on the hot seat, a rapid-fire cross-examination. He's going to answer our toughest questions as fast as he can. In the third segment, we're going to take on hot topics and go head-to-head -head with some legal headlines. And Boy Wonder has a new um, uh, offering for the show, and he calls it what? Kangaroo Court. Kangaroo Listen, Court. Listen, we had fan mail, and, and this attorney from the Houston area was like, you have to read these crazy transcripts. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do that. Oh, good. Okay. So we're going to do a new, this, in the third segment, we're going to have real transcripts from attorney witnesses' questions, and we're going to talk all about that. Well, Paul, welcome. Paul and I have known each other for a long, long time, and um, it's great to have you on the show. We've been wanting you to be on the show, and I thought it would be a perfect time because Paul just published another new book, uh, Tips and Traps, Selling Your Business While Maximizing Your Wealth, and I thought it would be a perfect time to do it. And you had a book signing on Tuesday, was Tuesday, it? Tuesday, Bruce. Thank yeah. you. Well, I was in a mediation. I was actually the mediator. I would have been there. But Stuart Lapp came in and said, hey, I just came from the book sign. I was still working at 8 or something. And it was just – and, in fact, today has been a crazy day. We, running a law practice and having court hearings and, and mediations and then trying to make a show <laughs> happen sometimes. And Carlos, very patient with us. Thank you. for We arrived late today, and so he was uh, taking good care of us. So, Paul, tell me a little bit about yourself. So I start at the beginning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. You're going to need about three minutes for this. Got it. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a budget. Put him on the clock. Uh, you probably know my story, Bruce. I do. I was born in Dublin, Ireland. Came to the United States in the fall of 1979. Showed up with $200 and a toothbrush. <laughs> I was 17 years old. I had no idea what I was doing. But it doesn't matter at 17, does it? No. Why the toothbrush? Well, you know, that's an interesting story, but then I'll lose my three minutes. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't interrupt him. <laughs> well, it didn't take long to run out of airspeed, altitude, and ideas. And before I knew it, I enlisted in the Air Force. I was an aircraft electrician. Oh. And that was a mechanism for me to go to school, pay for my way through the University of Maryland, where I got an undergraduate degree in business and management, graduated summa cum laude, which is code for Ooh, not really the smart. smartest guy in class, but the most eager to get out of the military. <laughs> Nice. So, when you graduate, the next thing is, what do you do next? And I did what most normal people do when they don't know what to do next. I went to graduate school. Mm. Texas A&M University was very eager to bring in a summa cum laude young student from God knows where and uh, made an offer I couldn't refuse. Got my master's in finance, got out, 
and got a job at a company called Smith Barney. I don't know if you remember Smith Barney. They made money the old-fashioned way. I like to joke, they stole it. Mm. But real, reality was it was a much more of a boiler room environment at all the firms in those days, and it wasn't something that I enjoyed. So I decided I'd do a career change and became a pilot. I mean, that can't be that difficult. Seven years and 7,000 hours of flying later, I did actually end up at Continental Airlines. And, you know, those were a very difficult time to become an airline pilot. But I got there, and I was on my way to captain. When September 11 totally blew a hole in the heart of America, blew a hole in the side of the airline industry. And, of course, mm -hmm. to make things worse, I was based in New York City. Oh, yeah, it was painful. It's they moved me time. down to Houston. That's how I got here. And then shortly after that, they put me on a furlough list, which was when I decided I'd pay just a little bit too much to become a pilot, and now I need to do something else. And that's when I decided to start my own business. It took me a couple of years for due diligence, but in the early 2000s, I cranked up what was then known as efficient wealth management, mm -hmm. focused originally on the pilots until, of course, in 2008, they lost all our pensions in the mm -hmm. great crash. So then I did a pivot. I've been working with leaders and business executives, business owners, a lot of them from the energy industry ever since then. We've been very proud to watch this firm grow. The focus of the firm has been to help clients using a consultative approach to not only protect their wealth, but mitigate their taxes, take care of their heirs, protect their assets from being unjustly taken maximize the impact of charitable planning if that's important to them. Well, I'm very proud to say I've got many friends as a result, Bruce included. He got special dispensation. Very close to my clients. We've had a lot of accolades from the Houston Business Journal, from other places. And I'm, ha I'm living the dream. I'm yeah. having a great time. And thank you for inviting me onto your show. Yeah, top wealth management firm, nine of ten years by Houston Business Journal, considered best managed firm by Schwab. Uh, also involved in the community, uh, chairman of the EDP, currently serving as chairman of the EDP, previously on the board of the Cynthia Woods Mitchell uh, Pavilion Theater. Uh, you know, Paul, one thing that we stress in our firm is giving back to the community and being engaged in the community. Not only do we have a business and uh, serve our clients and our, our customers, uh, but we want to give back to the community. I notice you do that, too, and that's uh, that's uh, something I really admire about you. Thank you. And your leadership in the community as well. So thank we thank you for everything. It's not easy. I know that. So it keeps you very, very busy, but you're always willing to step up, and you've always been a great friend to me, and uh, your leadership in the community is uh, is exemplary. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, pilot for 30 years, uh, and I, one thing I didn't know about you, and I thought I knew everything, is number one, you did the best intro when I said, tell you, tell us about yourself. You did the best we've ever had. So you that was perfect. for that one. Yeah, that like was. Like a little gold star. Yeah, yeah. And thank then you. the next, I didn't know that you were with Smith Barney first before Shearson. you became a, uh, before you became an airline That's right. pilot. Okay, wow. Yeah, and that lasted a year. I was, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that was not my gig. Dialing for dollars. Yeah, so you've had that. Your, uh, uh, I know. Oh, we got a caller. Oh, hello, right. caller. Welcome to the legal fix. Am I on? What's your question? Hey, I have a question for Mr. Carroll. Yes, sir. Fire away. So I have a friend who's really smart, and he put me on this Shiba Inu coin, mm. and so. And so what I did was I refinanced my mortgage. I put a lot of money into this Shiba Inu coin. Dog. And my question is, when can I That's expect this to moon? Oh, my God. It's a Shiba E coin. Is that like Bitcoin, guys? Or That's Dog. A Dog. Dog. Dog coin. That's the Dog on the Dog, Dog coin. coin. The yeah. Yeah. Cryptocurrency. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crypto. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, things are getting tight right now. So if you could help me out, man, I'd really appreciate it. I, it seems like I recognize the voice, but I may be wrong. I'd get out of that mortgage and get your uh, get your tail covered. Who knows what's going to happen next? And if you can't afford the loss, or as I like to say, if you can't do the time, you can't do the crime. What do you think of cryptocurrency overall? What's your, what's your thought about that? Because I've talked to different wealth advisors, and some are just saying, I don't even get into that. I don't try it. I don't recommend clients in it. And others are saying, we're in it. We're doing We're doing it. We're actually setting up portfolios with part of it in. I, I mean, what's your position? Uh, well, my position's a little bit in the middle. 
Okay. I mean, cryptocurrency is a, is a technology that's in its infancy. In fact, the real crypto, that's, uh, the real technology that's of great value is the underlying blockchain. blockchain. And what it can do for the law. Yeah. What it can do for public records. Security. It, it's an incredible technology that will probably lead over decades to the disintermediation of local government. So a lot of local government doesn't like that. But this is a great thing. It's a great thing for the modern world, the third world. Cryptocurrency builds on the back of the blockchain. And, and frankly, it's a fiat currency of sorts. It's, there's nothing backing it. It's not a gold standard, mm. just a promise. It, I don't think anyone knows how this is going to unfold, but there are challenges. There's a couple of challenges with the technology. It's extremely um, energy dense in its, its use. There's experiments with ether to try to replace the the problem Mining. solution Mining. to to a stake type mm -hmm. solution. But it, call it's it mining. A, yeah, yeah, you have to mine it. Oh, you have to yeah, mine. Yeah, it. yeah that's how a, you get the digital you, lung. Yeah, you have to do. Yeah, digital yeah. lung. You, you mine there is no gold axe, standard, yeah, though. And right. you're out there. In yeah. any, it just, in any it's an interesting thing. It's an, I honestly don't think anybody really knows how this is going to unfold. If we yeah. have clients who want to participate, we say, okay, well, let's let's be rational. Let's pick up, uh, maybe set up an account at Coinbase. You need a safe place mm -hmm. to put this stuff. Right. And Bitcoin put a, wallet. And put a put yeah. a right. Put a fixed amount. Yeah. Problem with the. Uh, a remote Bitcoin wallet is a lot of retail consumers. They lose their Bitcoin. They lose their Leave it at home. Yeah, yeah. Something. The wallet, you you forget it where yeah. it is. Twenty percent of Bitcoin it. is actually lost. Lost. Okay. And, and so people never, forgot their passwords. Yeah. Never gonna. Yeah. Never gonna find uh, it again. So well, they threw something like computer. Coinbase is good, and just systematically invest. Yeah. On a quarterly basis. Mm -hmm. So can you hold? Would you be able to hold Bitcoin for a client in in we your cannot. financial account? Okay. No, we, no, we would help clients navigate, uh, give them the guidance yeah. and navigate it. But okay. the the big custodians they really don't know what to do with yeah. them. Hey, uh, I, you do videos, and uh, they're very topical, because, uh, and I thought you did one on Bitcoin. I'm not sure if you did one on Bitcoin or not, but uh, all the video. if there's a hot topic that's going on in wealth management, stock market, the Fed. finance, anything, mm -hmm. Paul has videos that he sends out, and especially when we had covid hit you know mm -hmm. what's the effect of right. covid on your portfolio and we have these these ups and downs in the market and i always go uh listen to your video and it's very reassuring because you do a deep dive analysis of what's happening and you always say it's going to come back this is just short term it's not going to keep going and here's our prediction and pretty much you've been spot on on just about everything well thank you yeah and i, I try not to flood people's mailboxes we try not to send a video every week but during some, during some, some big event, right? I, talk, I always it'll be see three it. weeks, yeah. but if we can get we, it out, we flood the inboxes day. at least once a week. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes unintentionally. Yeah, yeah. Plus, but, yeah um, no kidding. Yeah, thank you for that. And we have spent a lot of time and effort on, on getting timely videos out. It's really it's really reassuring. We appreciate that. Okay, we're going to take a short break, but when we return, we're going to put Paul on the hot seat. We'll also answer your toughest oh, legal questions. So call our hotline at 936-900-2381. We'll be right back. So I'm Bruce Tuff, principal of the Tuff Law Firm. We are a full-service law firm serving the greater Woodlands area and the greater Houston area. Contact us at 281-681-0808. We're tough for you. driver Kyle Larson. Whatever I'm driving, I do everything I can to stay focused and safe. You should too. That means no drinking and driving ever because even the smallest amount of alcohol can make you skid out of control. Remember, drink, drive, go to jail. One final time, here's the veteran voice of the legal fix, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This is the main event of the evening. Attorneys are licensed by the State Bar of Texas. Our three lawyers plus examining the witness are Bruce Huff, Brandon Riley, and Jeremy Hall. And when the action begins, the witness on the hot seat will answer as many questions with the fewest words as fast as they can. The hot seat is sponsored by The Legal Fix, a new age radio show brought to you by the Tough Law Firm. We're tough for you. And now, for those listening on the radio and Legal Fix fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Legal Fix Studios in the Woodlands, Texas. It's time! One lightning round for the undisputed Legal Fix Hot Seat Championship of the World. Thank you, Bruce Buffer. I'm the big deal Bruce Tuff Bruce here with Boy Bruce. Wonder, Brandon Riley and Super Bruce Lawyer, G.I. Jerome, the Golden Boy, Jeremy Hall, caller hotline yes, at 936-900-2381. We did have a caller. I, I don't even know what the hell he was did talking about. Did we ask about. him his name? No. Who, we got to catch he that guy. He keeps remain anonymous because of trolling bad us. decision oh. making. He is. He's trolling us. A reverse equity. We're yeah. here with our <laughs> special guest, Paul Carroll, <laughs> so who's founder and nude. CEO of Avian Wealth. Coin. Yes, and uh, we, you know what? We're going to get right into it. Now it's time to put Paul on the hot seat. Jeremy, will you swear him in? Yes, thank you, Bruce. Paul, have you seen the hot seat before? I swear. Okay. Mm, yes, once. You have once. Okay, so you're the witness in a three-on-one rapid-fire cross-examination. You're going to answer our toughest questions as fast as you can. One word or short answers are best. You have one free pass. Please state your full name for the record. Paul Carroll. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and your version of the truth to answer the most questions with the least words as fast as you can? Affirmative. All right. Be ready. All right. Let's go. We'll put him on the clock. How do you spell Caroline? C-A-O-R. Caroline? Messed it up already, didn't Caroline. I? Yeah. Caroline. Yeah. Caroline. C-A-O-R. All right. Are you related to Pete Carroll? Yes. Seattle Seahawks. Do you have any relatives in Carolina named the Carolina Carol? Negative. What's the song about, Caroline? What is it? Sweet Can you sing Caroline. It? Bum, 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 bum. What's your favorite nickname? PC. Yeah. What's your least favorite nickname? PC. Oh, PC. This, oh, this can't be right. The, but Lincoln says you matriculate at the University of Maryland University College. That's affirmative, mm-hmm. Ghost Rider. Is that a real school? I don't know. University, university, college, university, college, university, 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 college. university. I don't know. Do, do you know university college was part of the celebrated celebrity college university admission scandal? Were you aware? I'm of that? not at all surprised. Celebrity parents sabotage their kids' applications so they wouldn't go there. Don't go there. Does university college even have a mascot? It does not. We look Negative it up. No. It's not the Maryland Turpin. Terrapin, it's not it? Turpin. That's a what, home of the, what is for the Ray Lewis and Jalen Rose. Hey, what is a terrapin? Is it a hair accessory? No, it's an animal. A diamondback terrapin? Yes. So it's a snake. Did you, did you help Ray Lewis clean the blood off his portfolio off the nightclub altercation? Well, I wish. Are you boys with Jalen Rose? Are you the I, unknown member of the Fab Six? Uh, number seven. After college <laughs> university, it says you received a master's in finance from ATM? Texas and uh, oh ATM. oh it says ATM <laughs> ATM, okay. yeah, what's, ATM what's, machine. What's the first three words of the Aggie Warham? I'm fired, aren't I? Hello, blue. I'm, connect, I'm connect, connect, connect. connect. How long have you been married? Thirty years and now, three months. Isn't it? Tr- isn't it true that your wife is from the Philippians? Uh, Philippians. Affirmative. Philippians. Affirmative. It's one of my first or Helen. second. Helen, first or second Philippians. Helen, Helen, Helen. Yes, she's from second Philippines. Philippians. Have you ever received a permanent? What kind of hair product do you use? It's sticky. Sticky. <laughs> Have you ever rocked a mustache? A bristle brush? W- once. A lip advisor? <laughs> a little money manager? <laughs> Brandon. Do you, wear short 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 the gym? do you even lift, bro? How much do you bench? How tall are you? Eight pounds. How tall are you? 16 feet. 
Woo! Is isn't it true you wear glasses just for style? Affirmative. Okay, nice. Brandon, what's your eyesight? That's you, Jerome. Do you have any other handicaps other than the eyesight? That's personal. Yeah. This Halloween, will you go as Antoine Fauci? Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, perfect. How can you check social media? What's that? What, <laughs> do you not use any apps on your phone? What apps do you use on your Again, phone? Again, that's personal. Yeah. Okay, nish nish. Yeah. Do you Objection, non response. Do you have a will? <laughs> do you have a will, Paul? Negative. A prenup? Negative. Oh, wow. I have a trust. A que- living trust. Oh, all right, question. Is, oh, perfect. See, revocable that's because he has a revocable, revocable trust. Revocable question of the year for you. consequences, yes. Question of the year. For you, just for you, how much money will it take you to retire? $30 million. Oh, nice. Wow, he knows his number. Man. Besides working at Avion Wealth, what's the most humble job you've ever had? Do you call it aviation instead of aviation? Is that what happened? Aviation. Back to the first question. <laughs> Washing dishes. <laughs> Oklahoma City. Oh, nice. nice. oh, that's Very good. good. Have you cried in the last year? Yes. Month? Yes. Week? Maybe. Woo. Oh, good nice. man. All right. Sum Honest. up your life philosophy in a word or a phrase. Global domination. Yay. <laughs> One thing people don't know about you that you want them to know. If I want them to know, they already know. So people may not know, before you started taking other people's money, you had your wings. Affirmative. You were a pilot for Continental. Yes. Yeah, you flew them straight into bankruptcy. I. <laughs> <laughs> no, I flew them out of bankruptcy. How many times did you fly to Epstein Island, or is that classified? I uh, missed that great opportunity. <laughs> Are you on the no-fly list? I am not. Then you worked for Smith & Barney. Didn't they used to have a uh, sheer sand on end? Oh, wasn't it Shearson? Shearson. Did, did you put him out of business too? It, it was a slow, slow burn. Now you work for Avion Wealth, right? That's right. Have you ever been sued by Tuttle, Turtle from Honorage yet? Not yet. Is this okay. something to look forward to? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Call us when it I'd represent him. Before Avion, you were efficient wealth management, right? That's correct. Very good. So you're not efficient anymore? We are very efficient, but most people think efficient means cheap. Yeah. And we are not. Yeah. And your new A logo is way better than that EWM. Like that? We should steal yeah. that. Efficient uh, is the EWM yeah, looks I, like I, efficient I, is not cheap. cheap. <laughs> efficient is a, EWM looks like oom. Um, 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 yes. Um, your one once noted that to me. Yeah, your website is most interesting. Mm-hmm. First, it's clear you're only a fee-only investment. Fee-only. Yeah, fee-only. Fiduciary. Fee-only. Yeah. Fiduciary. Yeah, got it. Do you do anything else besides charge fees? That's it. Just be honest. That's it. We just charge fees yeah. and go home. Oh, it good. also says you help wealthy clients mitigate taxes. So That's correct. You help the rich avoid paying taxes. We help Their the one percent stay in the one percent. AOC would oh. not like that. Yeah. Tax she, the rich. She doesn't like that. Yeah, she's not going to like it. We notice on your website words like vagaries, vagaries, consultative, centricity, and portend. Portend. Do you actually talk like that, or is that just so stupid people don't contact you? That's got it. Yeah. Affirmative. You also have a link called private access. Private access yeah. on your website. Is that like an OnlyFans? Well, that's kind of personal. Wah, Special wah. content. Have you ever lost all, all of someone's money? Not yet. Have you Not ever yet. literally lost all their money? Misplaced a check or a wad of cash like a drunk uncle and it's a wonderful life. That's yeah, where you lost the envelope. <laughs> <laughs> we should Christmas carol to that movie. I always should. <laughs> What's the most money you've ever made in one day? That's a good question. I'd have to do the math. Oh, biggest one day loss? We don't lose money. (laughs) (laughs) Do you employ the phrase, lost your shirt? Please don't. Have you ever said that? No, we wear undershirts. (laughs) Do you idolize the wolf of Wall Street? Mm. Oh, my goodness, no. You could be like the miniature schnauzer of Wall Street, right? Yeah, or like the Pomeranian of Wall Street. Pomeranian. Yapping about the other dogs on the trading floor, waving around all the call slips. Get on over here, doggy. I like to think German Shepherd. Yeah. Talking about the Chicago Bulls. Bears. Oh, here comes the bull. The bulls and the bears. Give us bull. your best stock tip. Don't lose money. Oh, do you agree there's no failed short-term investments? They just become long-term ones? <laughs> <laughs> Can I use that? Please. You know what they say about financial advisors, right? You'll know tomorrow why the things you predicted yesterday didn't happen. That's affirmative. Yeah. Oops. What's your favorite ticker symbol? A. A. What's the symbol for AOL? <laughs> out of business what's your favorite foreign currency is it bitcoin 
Do- Favorite foreign cu- currency? Yeah. Foreign currency. Yeah. Remember, of course. Do- Dogecoin. Dogecoin. <laughs> Mine's RuPaul's. Yeah. Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Behind all those fake computer numbers, there's actually gold in a vault somewhere, right? No. Yeah, like Fort Knox. How many assets? Fort Knox on your door? Yeah. How many assets <laughs> do you have under management? We're close to six fifty. Like Two thirds of the way to our first nice. billion. Nice. Nice. Do you Whoa. sleep over our Whoa. national debt? Uh, only the little bit of it that I own. <laughs> Will China ever foreclose on the White House? And, you know, only if they don't listen. Our I spaceships don't. aren't going to get booted and repoed anytime soon, are they? I don't think so. They're hard to claim. We just nuke them back to the Stone Age if they ever came. Hey, nuke how, them. How, <laughs> how young is your youngest client? How young is my youngest client? Very yeah. young. I'd, I'd tell you, but then I'd be violating fiduciary. Your fiduciary. Your fiduciary. Your fiduciary. Your fiduciary. Yeah. So you can't tell us how old is your oldest? Uh, that's still alive. Old what, AF. Old as dirt. What's the biggest charitable gift you've ever made? Actually, probably 40000 Ooh, Did oh, you have wow. charitable giver's remorse? Oh. Do you want it back? No. Have you ever made a junior broker cry? Yeah, but it wouldn't work. Mm. You're also the author of seldom known titles the like couch? The United Pilots Flight Plan for Wealth and Platform for Wealth. Here right? it is that's right here. correct. Look. Wait. United Pilots Flight Plan for Wealth was the first book we wrote. Yeah, yeah. I'm showing all his books. You may Look. also have never heard of your expert team in A Player with Intent. Mm. A Players with Intent the most popular. Yeah. Whoa. Which, of course, has nothing to do with finance. Have you ever received divine inspiration from any of your works? I could have used it. Yeah. Well, now yeah. you're hawking a new book, Tips and Traps, Selling Your Business While Maximizing Your Wealth, right? Yeah. Affirmative. Would, I got a couple would you of extra say, for would just you say a few you're dollars like, more. The C.S. Lewis of finance, though? Of course. Hey, so you've used a, a ghostwriter, right? The Holy Ghost? Holy no, Ghost. Holy no, Ghost this writer, is why it took two and a half years. Hey, what's your pen name? My pen name? Yes. Yeah, do you have a pen name? I think it's uh, Mont Blanc. Like a pseudonym? Oh, nice. Do you have any pen pals? Uh, it's been a long time. We see you've written many articles and white papers. Have you written any papers of color or just white ones? Just white. Mm. If you could be Sounds anything racist. other than a shyster, what would you be? Super shyster. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fastest you've ever gone in a car? I think you told me this. I don't know. Okay. 170? Okay. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. yeah. All-time winner. Caesar. Besides, Caesar. The, yeah. Yeah. Besides yeah. the couch at your office, what's your best-kept office secret? <laughs> the lactation station. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, who at Avon spends the most time in the mirror? Avion. 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 Avon. Avon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Company. I thought, yeah, yeah. pink cars Direct and everything. Direct consumer sales. <laughs> yeah. Who, who at Avion spends the most time in the mirror? Is it you? Oh, that's got to be me. Okay. Assuming you're the top dog, who's Ooh. the second best stock market gambler? Who is the second best, best second stock, stock market manager, gambler. gambler? Gambler, gambling man. Yeah. That's a good question, Bruce. Maybe it's you. Yay. I, I have done, I, I used to trade options. His daughter yeah. would disagree with him. Yeah. What's Futures, your favorite movie options. or show about your industry? The Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. Okay, nice. what's your favorite place you've ever been? Oh, good question. Probably Tahiti. Okay, Kevin Spacey in Billionaire Boys Club or Martin Sheen in Wolf of Wall Street? Martin Sheen. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Brand- and Bruce, Bruce. What's your top unchecked bucket list? Top unchecked bucket list item. Right now, I want to take the Tesla on the Circuit of the Americas. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, Favorite good place you. you've ever been? Yeah. I'm sorry, second. Favorite place you've ever been? Favorite place I've ever been. I thought we asked that question. Yeah, yeah one, I did. One, I have one food habits? for life. You were just making sure I didn't change yeah. the yeah. answer. One food for life, what would you eat? Spaghetti. Who, mm. Oh, I bet. So who's smarter, you or Elon Musk? Oh, come on. Elon's still learning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 100 yard dash, you versus Warren Buffett. Who's the first to call timeout to check their portfolio? Warren. T.O. Would you rather eat monkey brains in the Philippines with Manny Pacquiao or chomp on bitcoins in a spaceship with Mark Wahlberg? Oh, my God. It's going to have to be the monkey brain. Monkey, monkey brain. Those are Not delicious. a fan of Mark. Rusty Harden or Tony Busby? Yes. Yes. What does the Deshaun Watson trade mean for the Cleveland massage industry? It's very good. <laughs> yeah, it's booming. Invest now. We did it. Man, you, you really hey, we, that one Oh, we were. Uh, you, thank you for even hanging with us on that. We were rough. Uh, so did you love the hot seat, Paul? Uh, well, I, I stood. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good job. That a boy. All right. Carlos told me that Elon Musk just opened um he just opened a 
um, new Gigafactory? New, no, the Gigafactory, and it yeah. was one and a half years, and it opened just yesterday. Of yeah, in just Austin. outside yeah. Austin, yeah. Right. right? So that's good. Right by the airport. For and he did that online rodeo thing. Yeah, where he was wearing a cowboy hat and sunglasses. He also is the majority shareholder now, or the majority minority shareholder now of Twitter, Twitter. and yeah. he's been appointed to their board. Right. He's going to introduce an edit I think function. You're sure, he didn't appoint tweets. himself. Well, no, they asked him to come on. The CEO asked him to Maybe join yeah. the board. Good they, luck they with Rush off on that. Oh, my gosh. I'm sure they be, wanted to. He, he was on up, the top news. The, the stock traded up 26% yeah, on the news. It's amazing what the that Elon is, effect yeah. is. More, Elon money was me, made, more money was made after his announcement of that 9% shareholding interest than they made in the entire past two years. Yeah. Right. 9% percent's the majority, huh? We're, we're going to take a short He's break, and we'll be right back in our third segment. Thank you. All right, thank you. We're welcome back. We've got a real close uh, end to close our segment. We want to take on our third segment. We're going to do uh, what's it called? Kangaroo hot Court. topics and kangaroo. All right, Court. great. Real so quick, real quick. Hot topic. Come on, a man Jeremy. in Texas was illegally arrested. They claimed that he was transporting ten million dollars of liquid meth. It turned out to be diesel and oil. Oh my God! Okay, <laughs> true story. Oh wow! All the right. drug dog got it wrong. All right, yeah. Right now. All right, this exactly. Is, this is a new surprise for all of our listeners. We're going to do kangaroo court. I'm going to have Jeremy uh, be the witness, and I think Brandon's going to be the attorney. Is that the right order, gentlemen? I think we're going to flip back and forth. Okay. All right, flip back and forth. All right, I'm going to. These are live transcript. These are, these are for real. Attorney for witness, real. go. Okay. Uh, how long has he lived with you, <laughs> witness? Forty-five years. Oh, we messed it up. Uh, let's flip it. Go ahead. I cut it off. I'm the attorney? One. You're okay, the attorney. how long has he lived with you? No, no, no. Flip it to the next one. Next page? No, no, no. First page. Next, hey, I got something. Line. I got next something. Line. Hey, Paul. This is a huge hey, mess Paul, up. Tell me, tell me your... This yes, is all it is. No, no. Tell me your inspiration for writing the book. That's what I wanted to ask you. Oh. The inspiration for writing Tips and Traps? I yeah. have clients who've had awful experiences, and often the awful experience was right after the sale, maybe right. a year later. Things like clawbacks from PE firms. Yeah. Just, it's, it's not something you do every day. Yeah. People, they have this halo effect. They think, I know what I'm doing. I run a business. The emotional side is amazing. Yeah. People's business is their baby. I mean, they and, give up their firstborn child sometimes first. And you had uh, interviews, which I, when I talked to you, and I said, Paul, how did you come up with all this? You interviewed a bunch of people, mm -hmm. talked about a lot, I mean, in several areas back here. That's, uh, and this is a very comprehensive book, and if anyone is interested in selling their business or even the thought of doing that, uh, read this book because it is a, it's kind of the guidebook to everything. It's got all the, all the points. It has and, a QR code. Yeah, it has, oh, Ooh, it has a QR code. Advanced. right here. And, uh, it's cutting edge. Yeah, someone took my book. I think BW did, but I had some notes oh. because I read it last night yeah he oh, here it is right here. i got it yeah. okay. it's always my fault all right guys we're running out of time but has rules of engagement uh know your why chapter two death divorce disease downturn and uh, disgruntlement and if you would rather lose a limb than lose the value added by that person maybe they should become a partner and i thought Whoa. those were great quotes and thank you paul for being on the show thank you so much we really thank appreciate you. it thank all of you for watching the legal fix by the tough law firm call us at 281-681-0808 visit toughlawfirm.net or hit us up in the comments watch catch all the past episodes and highlights on our website and our youtube channel connect with us on facebook instagram and listen to us on spotify at 91.1 fm the boss fridays at noon i'm the big deal bruce tough with boy wonder brandon riley and the golden boy jeremy hall see you next week on the legal fix i'm gonna fix kangaroo quick yeah. next time yeah, yeah. yeah.